In this video, I'm going to be giving a step-by-step -step tutorial for setting up your Kajabi community. This is perfect for you if you want to get set up quickly, improve an existing community, smooth out any technical glitches, or if you just want to know if the features on Kajabi are right for you. If you do decide that they're right for you, then you can sign up for a 30-day free trial of Kajabi using my link down below. And when you do, you'll get a bonus strategy session with me, my seven-part roadmap course, and also my fill-in-the-blank templates. So first, let me give you a quick tour of my community, and then I'm going to be recreating this in a separate Kajabi account so that you see how to put it all together. So as you see, when people first join, they can read what it's all about in the little descriptor here. They see the banner. They can see the member directory. There are community guidelines. You can add some upsells to the side here. You can see our upcoming group meetups. I also created some tasks for my community members. I pinned some resources. There's a welcome video and everything here is nice and organized on the side. You could see tasks right here. They're all nice and organized and people can join and see what other people posted. You can also see our upcoming meetups and this is a brand new community that I made. And so when you do a meetup, you don't need to zoom. You can actually do it straight within Kajabi and there's a record button and all the recordings are easily going to save right here. And you can also add it to your calendar and you can also create any other sections that you want. So I created an announcement section and also helpful resources. What you could also do is you can create separate community areas. So this is my admin view and you could see both my free community and my paid community. And you can't see the content within each if you don't have access. So I really love that and it keeps things nice and organized. By the way, feel free to apply to join this free community down below because I'm always doing free meetups, especially on Kajabi where there's q and I help you smooth out any tech issues, and I also give you updates about any new softwares in the industry, new things that you should know. So there's a bunch of value packed in this free community, and so it's a really great resource to get further support along your online business and Kajabi journey. Now let me show you how I set all of that up. So in Kajabi, if this is your first time, then and you just go to products, create a new product, and then you click on community and get started. And then from here, you can give your community a name. I'm gonna call this creator circle, click continue. And don't worry about price for now, just click on free or you can click skip for now. So this is what it now looks like. And underneath settings, you can give your community a little description and you can add in an image. This is what's going to appear when people first join right here in this area. So let me copy and paste that little description here and I'm going to click on save. As you remember, I mentioned that you can have different access groups. I wanna make a big distinction here. So. As I said, you can adjust your photo and your description and your different access groups are both going to be able to see that. So both the people in my free community and in my paid community can see that image and that description. Now, if you want to change the name of the access groups, you go over to access groups and this is where you can click on these three dots, click on edit, and this is where you can change the image of just that access group and also give it a little description. This is important because when you bring on new members in their member library, they're going to see that image as, as well as that description that we added underneath access group. So I really want you to see where these images and where these descriptions go, both for the access group and also for the community overall. So this is what the community looks like, and I'm just gonna walk you through step by step. So you could start by adding a cover photo. What I did is I simply went to Canva and I gave it these dimensions. Canva, you can start a free trial of, and you can simply choose the file once you make it and upload it like this. On the sidebar here, you can add any offers that you want them to be aware of. So for example, in this free community I have, I encourage people to join my five-day workshop. And so I could choose what the button says and I can click on publish. That way when people join, they see it listed right there. From there, I can also schedule our next group meetups. So I just simply click on this button and I love how easy Kajabi makes it. You just give it a title. Um, I'm just gonna call this first creator meetup. Gonna make it really simple. And you could use Kajabi's built-in feature. So this is like Zoom so people can meet, turn their mics and cameras on and off, and you can easily hit record and it saves in the community. 
So it makes it really easy. And I'm just going to choose a day. You can give it a little description. I'm just going to be simple now. Obviously, give you some thought. And if you have multiple access groups, just make sure that you are selecting the right one and you can choose which of your channels gets notified. I'm just going to get rid of that for now and I'm going to give a little image for this. Okay, from there, click save. Perfect. Now you can see it listed here on the side. So from here, you can create tasks. So Kajabi calls it challenges, but I'll show you soon here how to change that word to tasks and settings, or if you want to call it something else, like if you want to call it homework or whatever you choose. But this is where you can give people tasks and you can even gamify your approach. So what you could do is you could even create like different, uh, different series. So let's just call this welcome tasks. Obviously, you get crafty with your description. I'm not going to be too thoughtful here, but they give you these different templates. I usually just create a custom one. I'm just going to give this a title of introduce yourself, and then you can give a description. And again, you could choose which of your access groups gets to see that. And then if you click on next, you can even upload an image. And I recommend it because this just gives it a nice brand feel. What you could also do is you can upload a video. So one of my welcome tasks is to watch the welcome video. And this is where I upload it here. So I'm going to click on save. And now, as you could see, they could see the introduction post here. And you could also see it underneath these tabs here. I want to help you to further organize some of these things are over on the side here. So if you click on these three dots, if you click on settings, it's going to open up this right here. And there's a number of things that we can customize here on the side. So the first thing is give your community a URL name. So this is customized for you, obviously, and your audience is going to see that. And here you can also customize community guidelines, you know, customize this for what you want your audience to do. But remember that you want to keep your community a respectful environment so that people feel welcomed. So it's important to take these seriously. And when people first join, there's going to be a message that pops up and they have to agree to it. Underneath email notifications, these are the messages that go out to people and you could toggle these on or off. I think that these are pretty straightforward, but also know that if people have the Kajabi Communities app, that they'll also get notifications for a lot of these, especially like when you're about to do a meetup and when you go live. So that's why I love Kajabi communities because my members never have an issue knowing when we're going to go live. They don't have an issue actually joining because in the message that they get, there's a button to easily join. So I've never had anyone have any major issues with that. So read through these. I usually just keep this off because I don't think there's a need to send weekly digest emails. There's one big distinction I want to make here. So as I'm currently speaking, there's a small glitch in the Kajabi communities where if you have multiple access groups, then they're likely going to get notified, for example, when a new meetup is created that's not in their access circle. I hope I get to update this video and chop this out because they fixed it, but that's currently a glitch that they are working on. And so know that if someone in a different access groups get no gets notified that there's a meetup in another access group, just know that they might get notified. But if you didn't give them access to that group, there's no way for them to actually see the meetup see the recording. So that's a big relief with it. Underneath the gamification, there's some cool options to give people like a title when they do something. So let's say you call someone like a winner when they complete a course or a lesson. So you could really, you know, customize this, you know, you could really explore this so that you gamify your community if you want to. And that just makes it fun and it gets people actually doing stuff. And you can even customize how many points people get when they do certain tasks. And in a second here, I'll show you how you can add a leaderboard if you really want to. But this is totally optional. Underneath customization, you could choose the home page. So this is like the first thing that people see. When people first land in my community, they see this home tab here. But you can also choose when people first join to see the meetups tab. Or what other options do we got? The challenges tab. So it's up to you. You could choose your color light mode or dark mode. I usually prefer light mode. There's a few things I want to point out here. So 
You could choose whether or not there is a global feed. I like to have it, that's what you're seeing here, and it'll just summarize all your posts within your other circle areas here if you want. So I think that's a really nice feature, but up to you if you want to turn it off. You can even give it a name, like here it's called home, or you could just call it feed if you want. So for all these features here, you could like change the name, you know, like this one, I didn't like the word challenges. I actually changed mine to task, then you do tasks. I just think it's a much more friendly word than challenges. That sounds difficult. Uh, channels, I call mine like circle. So as you can see here, there's a lot of room for customization. You can also choose whether or not the leaderboard is visible. So let's say you don't want that, then you can simply disable it. So that's the global leaderboard, same thing for challenges. And if you ever like want an explanation on something more deeply, you can just simply click on this help center and there's an article where it will teach you more about this. And they're always updating that. Okay, so again, we can customize some of these names. If you don't want meetups in your community, you can simply turn that off. But one thing I strongly encourage you to consider is underneath live room, I like to wait for access because I don't want my community members joining the live room when I'm not there. So if a bunch of them join five minutes before we start, I don't want them just sitting there staring at each other. So I'd rather me like only be there when they join. Communication. So there's also a DM feature in the community. It's this little paper airplane icon and you can choose to message people directly and they'll get an email notification or an app notification. So I like to keep that on, but know that members can also message between themselves, which I don't mind, but just know that that's one con. I kind of wish that there was another toggle for members to message each other. You can also choose to hide the member directory. Right now I have mine on so people could see how many members are in the group. And if they click on it, they can also see in each other's names. So again, that's totally up to you. Some people don't like to see the numbers or the names of people, but it's totally optional. Here you can customize emojis, but that's not super important. We already did the challenges before, but moving forward, if you ever want to like edit your challenges, then you can create new series. So this is a series like my welcome series, or you can create new tasks within. So as you can see, these are mine right here. And this is my already established community. So this is my welcome and workshop action tasks. Honestly, now that I'm looking at this, I could probably put these in two different series, but I did this on purpose because I want to encourage people to go through my five day workshop and I want them to see it like right when they go through these. So as you can see here, when I was originally setting up the, ta the, the action tasks, there's a default where you have to choose like 14 days or 30 days, but once you actually publish it, you can actually go in and edit it. You can choose how many points I get if you wanna gamify it, but you can extend the end time as far back as you want. So that's one thing, there's no way to turn off the end time currently for these tasks, but like, I don't want these to end anytime soon. Like I want people to continue to introduce themselves throughout time. So that's just one thing I did. I could have technically created a like a post underneath a separate circle to do this, but I want this to be underneath the tasks tab to really, you know, like have people like, like give them direction when they first join. So I just want to show you that feature. And another thing too, is you can like adjust the order of these once you have a bunch of them up, if you want them to go through it in a specific order. Underneath channels, this is where we can create the subgroups that are on the side. So for this free community, I decided to have announcements and helpful resources. So as you can see here, announcements is kind of like this group chat feature where you can send messages, you can have different polls. And so let's recreate that. So I'm gonna call this announcements and I'm just gonna copy and paste that word, give it a more crafty description, but choose your access group. And there's two different types of channels. So that group chat feature is the chat. So I'm going to make that public and create it. Now I wanna create this helpful resources tab. You can see that this is different than the group chat. This is where you can make different posts. So if I click on this, you can click on the plus icon and you can add in different photos or videos or documents or audios. I actually have this for my paid mentorship community because I allow people throughout the week to submit material for me to review and give feedback on. So this is something that you could do as well, maybe for your community. And so to create that, I'm going to click on new channel. I'm gonna call this helpful resources. 
Again, give it a description because when people first see it, they will read through that description to give context. Access group, I'm going to click Creator Circle, and this is the feed section. So I'm going to make that public, and if we go back to this community I'm setting up, you could see that we have the announcements. So this is brand new, but you can obviously type out a message and you can attach different files if you want to. And then here, this is where you can make those posts. Now, let's say that you want to change the order of these circles. Here, you just simply drag these multiple dots and from there you can change how they're ordered. And then that's where I like to make my announcements is in that circle. But what you could also do is underneath announcements, you can create new announcements and people will typically get email notifications, but I just like to personally keep everything in one place underneath that chat feature. There's a few last things I wanna show you. So as you could see underneath the feed, I have a number of pinned posts. And so the way that I do that is I actually make those posts underneath my helpful resources tab. So the one that we just created, I just simply make a post under there. And then what I could do is if I click on these three dots, I can choose to pin it to my feed. So let's say that I do that, then it's going to appear right towards the top. But let's say I only wanted that post to pin towards the top of this very circle, then I could do that. And right now it looks a little bit odd without multiple. If I pin it to the top here, I could choose just to have things pinned underneath this section. But personally, when people join my community, I want them to see everything pinned in one place, which is why I have it that way. And then over time, this is going to be more like a content library. So personally, I don't like to have that pinned to this specific circle, but I do like that they're pinned to your feed. So this is really what you make of it. You know, feel free to customize this for you. But one last thing I wanna show you is how to tag people. So let's say that, you know, I make this post here and let's say I wanna tag someone. I'm just gonna use Dulce as an example. I could simply click that at symbol and then I could tag Dulce and I could leave her like a little message. Now, when I do this, that's going to send an email notification to Dulce and also a mobile app notification if she has the mobile app. What I could also do is I can click on at everyone and this is going to notify everyone in the circle. And you could do that both for the chat feeds and the feeds. So underneath announcements, for example, you could see here that I tagged everyone so that everyone can get an email notification. Only you as the admin can do this, which is really nice because I don't want my community members to be tagging everyone. And last thing I'll say is that before you add people into this community, I would highly recommend checking the mobile version because you just want to make sure that everything is smooth on there and it's pretty straightforward. On the mobile version, you will see all of these circles here like listed on the bottom. And so you could just go through, you know, make sure notifications are working and that way you feel really good about the mobile version and you feel comfortable and confident inviting people in. Lastly, Kajabi community is always making upgrades. Like for example, being able to add a offer on the side here is an absolute new thing. And so I'm going to leave an article down below where you can read the latest updates about Kajabi communities just so that you stay ahead of the trend. So last thing I'll say is feel free to apply down below to join this community right here because as I said before, I am giving a lot of great resources in this community. In the future, we're going to have free Q&A sessions about Kajabi and to help you smooth out any technical glitches. I'm going to give out awesome free resources to help you stay ahead of the curve. So there's a ton here like from um, new software programs, like this is a new marketplace. Um, I have free resources like my playbook, my master classes, and there's a lot more to come. So when you fill out the form, it's going to ask you what your needs are, and I will cater this to the community as a whole. So I'm super excited for you to potentially be joining us, and I can't wait to see what you accomplish from here. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this.